I cannot believe that there is a Capuchin port for my favorite Linux tool to preview files. That tool is called BAT. And I don't know why I keep being blown away by how many ports of Capuchin there are, but this one for BAT looks super interesting. So let's just install it really quick. Again, I cannot believe this even exists. So let's paste that themes, I don't know, script, what is it doing? Oh, okay, we're making a directory for our bat config directories themes subfolder. So if we type bat dash dash config dir, that means we're making a new configuration under dot config slash bat slash themes. Okay, cool. So now we just need to copy a theme file from this repository. I like Cappuccin Mocha. I'm Cappuccin Mocha all day, every day, baby. So let's do that. We'll copy and paste this. And now bat should have Cappuccin Mocha as its color scheme. So when it's previewing files, it'll use Cappuccin Mocha. This uh, sounds amazing. Okay, so now let's go into a configuration file, I guess. And do config. Actually, you know what? Let's just look at our tmux config. Let's cd home. Let's bat our tmux.conf. We might need to add a argument to our bat command, but let's just see what this does. Okay, so, so far, whatever. But if we do bat dash dash color equals always, still nothing. What the heck? Capuchin. Maybe it's just because of the comp file and there's nothing good with comp files for that. All right, so let's go to a Ruby project, horror post, cd2 app controllers, and let's bat application controller. What does that give us? Cool, that looks awesome. I think it worked. <laughs> Either way, I think it worked. I think it worked. Maybe I have to, oh, hang on, wait. Oh, we have to rebuild bat's cache, the cache for bat. Oh my gosh, read the effing manual, huh guys? All right, let's do that. Okay, now application controller. All right, same thing, I don't know, maybe I screwed it up. Let's reopen. CD to get horror post, CD to app controllers, bat application controller. Yeah, it still looks the same. Am I missing something or is it just using it correctly? Edit your configuration file. Oh, do I have to actually change the config file now? You need to set bat to use Capuchin. Read until the end. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning how to do things live on Twitch. I feel like I'm just going from one end to the next like too fast. But yes, I have to read, read the effing manual. RTFM. This is a skill issue, guys. A little bit of a skill issue. Don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Skill issue. Okay. In your configuration file located at bat config file, you want to add dash dash theme capuchin mocha. Oops, I hit the wrong shortcut there. Capuchin mocha. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. This is a Chili's. Capuchin mocha. Capuchin mocha. Right. And Vim. What was it called again? Bat config? bat config file. All right, I'll bet we can do it like this. Let's do something cool. Let's redeem ourselves with a cool thing here. bat config file. And in here, we can add theme capuchin mocha, which is the theme we installed. So I think that'll work. Let's also CD into our bat config file, or our config directory, dir, config dir. And let's see, we have config and themes. So we cd into themes. And we have cappuccine mocha.tm theme. But that doesn't look right to me. Does that look right to you guys? It looks like there's quotes around this. Okay, no, that seems all right. Seems all right. Let's see now. So we want to do the um, cache, bat cache dash dash build. Okay, seems okay. Now 
let's go to Git or post and up controllers. Okay. That application controller. Oh, there it is. Gorgeous. We did it. We did it. We got them. We got them, guys. Okay, so this is what you do. I finally figured it out. You want to read the manual, but you want to make a directory under your config directory for bat. You want to add a theme file, which basically just calls wget in this repository. You want to rebuild your cache. You want to run list themes. No, actually, no, this is kind of effed up because it doesn't actually give you step by step because right here, it should say that you want to edit your actual configuration file, right? So it's not completely on me, fellas. Let's not, you know, <laughs> but in your configuration file for bat, you want to add dash dash theme, cappuccino mocha, then bat cache build, and then you should be able to see beautiful cappuccino mocha for bat. I love that. Actually, let's do the, um, let's do this with bat now on our FZF preview command here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that's so good. That's so good. Our previews are in bat and it's cappuccino mocha being used to highlight. That's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. 